Okay, um, hey guys, welcome back to a, um, it's, uh, Roblox, well, tutorial studio, Roblox studio, well, welcome to a Roblox studio tutorial, um, today I'm doing a game, I'm starting a series, tutorial series on a game like, um, Tower of Hell, um, yes, um, so, First, what you want to do is go to Surf Script Service, um, press the um, the plus thingy, um, and do script. Um, just get rid of get rid of this. Um, do local level equals game dot replicate storage. If you want to know how I like suddenly filled it in, um, I. Um, I did the dot, and then it comes up with all of these, and I typed a few letters, and then, like, whichever one selected, you can just press tab, and it just, um, fills it in. Anyway, um, wait for child, um, generated levels. Um, we'll be making that folder soon, but, um, after that, you get children. No, children. Elder, what? Children. Um, and then we're going to make that player. This is um, the generated levels. This is where your levels are going to be that you want, the, like your stages, whatever. Um, and then while true do. Now, this is going to be your um, the loop that loops the whole thing. So the, your stages um, spawn in and stuff. Oh yeah, sorry about the bad quality. Um yeah, the quality's not really good today. <laughs> um and then for I um no wait I not one. I um place holder and pet has game dot workspace dot um no wait whoops place Folders, um, get children, children, and yep. Oh wait, the do. You can have the do down there. But I like doing it up there. <laughs> um, and then local chosen level equal, equals level, which is this up here. Then those. Bracket me. I don't know what those are. Those are called <laughs> um, math dot random. And then one. Um, and then hashtag levels level. And then out of, out of the bracket things. Um, and then do clone. So that um. When this is run or whatever, um, it just clones one of the, it just, um, picks a random level in here, and, like, puts it in the map, which we're going to, we're going to make the map soon. I'm just getting the script over and done with. Um, and you want to do chosen level dot, dot primary part dot primary part equals chosen level dot floor. The um, floor will be our base part of that, um, of the maps. Um, and then chosen level, chosen level, set primary, wait, with our primary C frame, C frame, um, base holder, frame no frame um that just this is going to be um it sets the one the floor to um to it's so this sets the floor to the um main part and then this makes it so the floor which is the main part goes to um the where it's supposed to be which will um make where it's supposed to be soon um and chosen level dot parent equals game dot 
workspace dot current levels. This is another folder that we're going to create soon. Okay. Go hello okay, C. Um then you go out of the end, um that this end, um here. I pointed to it on my screen. Uh um and then the way you wait just the ten for now. This is basically the countdown until a new round starts. We're gonna put in an actual countdown eventually, but for now just put it wait ten. You can put it whatever to whatever you want. Um and then game dot workspace dot current levels. Um clear clear all children. And then this script, um, it gets rid of all the um, levels, so this creates the levels and puts them in the world, and then this gets rid of the levels after it's, um, after it, the round is over, which is the wait 10 seconds. Um, and then this well true do, it just loops the whole thing, so when this um, happens, it just goes back to this and it keeps happening forever. Um, yeah. Okay, so now, um... What you want to do is go to workspace, then get a folder, and name it placeholders. And then um, you want to just put a few parts. Um, you can um, scout, You can like change their size if you want. Um, yeah, this is going to be the placeholder, the main part. Um, just name it floor. Um, then, I'm just going to make a couple of them, um, I'm just going to make like three, um, for now, for the purpose of this, um, tutorial, and then, um, you, I'm going to change the colors, whoops, um, no, there we go, change the colors so we know, um, that different ones have spawned in, or like which ones have spawned in and stuff, red. Okay, um, and then, um, wait, um, okay, and then you want to, so these are going, these are going to be the actual levels, um, for now, or, oh, yeah, actually, um, <clears throat> just make trans, just make them transparent, and then put them in here, or, oh. uh, um, okay, yeah, so put them in here, um, this, this will be our floor, whatever, um, our base plate, base part, I'm, g I'm just gonna, um, make a, this is gonna be the starting point, it's gonna be roughly around here, um, it's gonna be like there, yep, um, I'm gonna put in a spawn point, so where, where is it, um, this, <laughs> can't find it, no, I think it's in here, maybe. Where is it? Um, I actually can't find it now. It should be in here. Okay, anyway, um, <laughs> so that'll be our starting area, and then these are the placeholders. Um, I'm gonna copy these, um, just put them in replicated storage for now, and then set the transparent it's a zero. You can't can't see them because they're in replicated storage, not in the actual world. Um, and then make a folder, another folder called generated levels. Generated levels. And then um, well you you can put these in actual the workspace. Um, so these are going to be the actual levels. You can do whatever you want with them as long as you keep the um floor. Pieces, um, the main floor pieces, the same size as um, these other floor pieces. Um, yeah. And then um, you want to put these in the um, the actual levels and generated levels. Actually, you're gonna want to put them all in models because um, it needs to be in a model. Um, so there would be like the parkour and then the floor. 
pictures and then put all those in the model. I hope I'm explaining this um, well. This is like the first tutorial I've ever done, really. Um, yeah. And then that should be it. And then when I run it. No, wait, error. I saw an error. Oops. Yeah, it didn't work. Um, it was an error. Um, don't. These are all errors on from like plugins and stuff. But this one isn't. Um, get children. Um, wait. This should work. Mm. Hmm. Okay, storage generator levels get children. Um, hold on. Um, I will be back when I figure out what's wrong because it should be correct. Um, oh, yeah, sorry. Um, no, wait a second. No. Oh, yeah, there's no R. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that was it. Um, yes. Anyway, um, now it should work this time. And set primary for C frame is not member of model. Okay, great. Another error. I'm so good at tutorials. Um, set primary C frame. Okay, yep, I'll be back again. <laughs> Um, okay, I figured it out. Um, this was set. I had this as set primary C frame, but it needs to be set primary part C frame, and um, also there needs to be a um, model in workspace called current levels, just like that. And here we go, and it should work this time. Yeah. Um, okay. It's just loading, don't see any errors, and, yep, see, there we go, oh, I don't know what's happening there, but yeah, basically it worked, um, working, wait 10 seconds, then it'll refresh, yep, refreshed again, oh yeah, okay, I forgot to anchor all the parts, That that's what happened, <laughs> um, I'll just anchor them real quick, and, is anchor and here we go he should be in proper position now just yep and there we go you just saw it change um wait 10 seconds it should change again um wait yep there it changed um so those are these are like the different um Stages. So this is two red and one green, and the red, green, and green. Yeah. Um, so that's just the basic map, basic map spawning um, system. Whoops, um, system so far. Um, yeah, I'll get into like um, more like making it into actual rounds in future tutorials. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know if you want more, and I, yeah, and, oh yeah, also, um, my, I have a game, which I was making, which is, I'm, which I'm taking all the script off, um, Parkour Tunnel, um, yeah, Parkour Tunnel is basically the finished version of this tutorial series, so, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and go check out that game if you want to see the more or less the final product yes um this was my first tutorial um sorry if it was a bit bad if the quality is bad and stuff yeah uh, should be better next time or something yeah see ya